Yes, I'm going to talk from the book of Matthew 28. Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. The Bible says, And Jesus came and speak unto them, saying, All powers is given unto me, in the heaven and in the heart. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teach the, teaching them to obey, to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So Jesus was speaking to his disciples. He told them, all the powers in heaven and in the, in the, in the earth have been given. All the powers, the powers that is in heaven, the powers that is in earth here, Jesus has been given. And he has said that he has commissioned us. He said, go and make disciples. Go and make disciples. So how many disciples have you made? There is no ex excuse in that because Jesus has said, excuse me, hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Yes. How many, how many disciples have you make? Because Jesus has given us authority, has said, go, go and make disciples. That's what the Bible says. Jesus said, and they speak, and Jesus came and speak unto them, saying, All powers is given unto me in heaven and in, in, the, in, the, in the earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the, the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Ghost. He said, Go and baptize them. Go and make the disciples. Go and baptize them. Go and baptize them. In the name of the Father. So Jesus is asking us, we go to the world, to the nations, to go out. Get out of your, your comfort zone. Go and share and speak to the, 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 the people. And Jesus promised that he will be with us. He will be with us until the end. He said he will go with us. Verse 20. Hebrews 13.5. He said he will guide us, verse 20. John 16, verse 13. He will, he, will, he will gift us. He will give us a gift. So there is no way we can excuse ourselves. Now, there was one man in the Bible. His name was Moses. God chose him to deliver the children of, of Israel. So, so... So Moses, he gave God several excuses. He didn't want to go. He said, God, no, no, no. You know, first of all, I am a stammerer. I don't know how to talk. Why do you want to send me to go to Egypt to, to bring the children of Israel? He was, he, he was not happy about, it, about that. But God told him in Exodus 3 verse 11, I am who I am, who I am I, that I should go. So, many times we question our ability as well as, as we say, I cannot share the gospel, the, the gospel with others because I am not smart enough. I do not know enough about the Bible. Now, uh, that is excuse like what Moses was telling the God. Was, Moses was asking God, who I am should I go? Yeah, Even us, some of us, we, we, you, ask, you excuse yourself, you say, first of all, I don't know the Bible. I don't know what I will say. Even I, the language, I don't know what I'm going to tell the people. We do excuse that. Uh, Exodus 4, uh, God says in response to our doubts in Exodus 12, I will be with you. The same, the same, the same word Jesus said, I will be with you. So God, Jesus said, in the, in the, here in the, in the book of Matthew 28, verse 20, Jesus said, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So in Exodus here, 
God says in Exodus uh, 3 verse 12, God says in response to our doubt, I will be with you. So God will be with us. We don't have to fear about sharing the people, about going to win souls, about reaching the soul, reaching the, the lost souls. So now in Exodus 4 verse 1, he said, what if they do not believe me or listen to me? So now you also ask him, what if I'm going to talk to somebody and he doesn't want to listen to me? He doesn't want that, this salvation. What, what shame? That this, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be shamed and disgraced. Over years and years, people, they reject biblical information that present to them. They say, well, that is what you believe. So you, you give excuse, but God, he will, go in, he will be with you and, and he will go with you and he will guide you. Only if you are willing, without doubting, and, and as you, you go to prayer, you pray even to your partner, you pray even to your own husband, the one you live with. You pray, you pray, and then one day you just talk to him. You say, you just share with him, and then God will take care of everything. But rather than keep quiet, you fear, you don't want to share, you don't want to tell anybody about Jesus. And also the way you are living. If you are not living the, 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 right, the, right, the right way, then you cannot tell anybody about Jesus. They will say, are you a Christian really? Are you a Christian or you are just saying? And sometimes you, you enter in their, in their group, you do things together. But on Sunday you go to church, you pretend you are a Christian. But Monday up to Sunday you are not a Christian. That one can also hinder you from sharing the gospel with other people. I'm telling you the truth that God will be with us. God will go with us and guide with us. According to what Jesus said, that I will be with you until the end. He said, go. He knows that there's some people who will reject you, who will mock you, who will, even you can be beaten. We have seen many Christians being beaten, thrown even to prison because of the gospel. Suppose you were poor and silent. When they were beaten seriously and thrown to, pizza, to, 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 the, to the prison, what would you do? Yeah, suppose you were, you were just, just imagine that you are now poor and silent. You have been beaten and you have not done anything. It's because you, you, you preach to the woman, the witch woman, who was witching the, the city. Now they see that you, are, you, are, you have done, you are traveling the whole city. And they arrested them, being arrested, and they beat them, and they didn't do any crime. What did they do? They, nothing. The only Jesus. But now we are, thank God right now, here where we are, especially here in Canada, America, even in Africa, some part of Africa, it's not bad. You can share, you can preach the gospel anywhere. It's freedom. Other countries still, you can't preach that one. But the, uh, with us, we can't excuse, we can't say that, we, 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 we are afraid or we can't, we, we can't say anything about that. If you reach there, you talk to them, they don't want to respond, you have done your duty. You have done what God has, 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 wants you to do. Then you will see God will take care of them. God wants you to, to come out from ice, to come out from the box, to do exercise. I know I have, I've been talking about this lady. She's there, she's listening. I um, I, 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 I uh, Alison. Alison is a, a woman who is very shy, but the way she ministers to people, God knows. She's bringing a lot of people to God, and she's sharing with them. And now, now you wonder, the way she talks to people, God knows. Yeah? Somebody, because God will give you a gift, He will give you something that will pull people, how you will share with them. Now, we have our own children, our own children that are not saved. What are we going to do about them? We pray God to help them and deliver them and they will be saved. If your child, children are being saved, you will be the happiest family. Your family will be very happy. Now, if your children are not saved, all the demons, they are fighting, they are bringing conviction, they are bringing so much problem. But when they are saved, everybody will have peace and thank God and pray together. But once one is not saved, the demon will fight that this person, chaos will come home. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. 
I pray that God Almighty help us to reach out to the lost, the lost souls, God. Help us, Lord, to reach us the lost souls to Jesus, God. Help us, Lord, to reach our community. Help us, Lord, to reach our nations. Help us, Lord, to reach our city. Look at what has happened to Britain. The Prime Minister, he has resigned from, from, from being a Prime Minister. Look at that. Yeah? We need to pray. There is a storm coming. The economy is going to fail badly and it is going to affect the people who do not trust God, who does not believe in the God. But children of God will be would laugh. When the economy is failing, they will be loving. That's what the Bible says. Yeah? Now, it is, Christ, it is the work of Christians that will stand in the gap and pray for the economy of the country and pray the sins that has entered in the country. Of all the, the world, Britain, to, to, they, are, they are sterling, bound, crashed. It is not easy. So we pray that God, 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 God Almighty, God our Father, will deliver our children, will deliver our family, will deliver our neighbors, our nation. We pray for the economy of the country. We pray that God will sustain our country, our country's economy. Yeah. We pray that God will help us. So when the, when the economy is being affected, you know there's they, 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 they chaos. They, it's not safe. People are going to lose jobs. People are going to suffer. But the children of God, they, they, that one, it cannot happen to them. That's why you need to pray and make Jesus as your friend. You, you will go and make, uh, preach people, lead people to God, and God will help you and protect you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God that God is able. We are, people are going to face a lot of storm, a lot of problems. It's, it's facing them. But the children of God, they will not experience that. That's what the Bible says. And I believe so. We pray that God, as we will reach out to the source, God will also be with us. Because he has said, this is what he has said. Yes? However, we must overcome this fear. Go. God said in verse 12, Now go, I will help you. Speak and I will teach you what you say. That is Exodus 4, verse 10. Exodus, Exodus, uh, uh, Exodus 4, 10 and 12. God says that now go, I will help you speak and you will teach and what to say. So God said, you know, when Moses was having a problem, he said, ah, I don't know how to talk. I am, I can't. God said, go, go, go. Your brother is there. He's going to speak on your behalf if you can't speak. I am the one who created your, your tongue. I am the one who created your tongue. You know, I was struggling like that too. Because I was having a problem of, of talking, of speaking. I can't pronounce the words properly. I can't talk properly. So I said, I was afraid. But when God told me that who created that mouth, who created the tongue, who created the, 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 the speech you are talking, it is me. So I know. Go, talk, don't fear. And then the fear went out from me. So I don't mind. I just talk, talk, talk. Wherever I talk, I just talk. Because I, I can talk. Before I, I would look for the word for a long time before I, I can talk properly. Now, Moses was also and was excusing God. God said, no, go. I know your situation. I know your weakness. I know who you are. I am the one who created you. And I know exactly who you are. So go. Now, there's no way you can excuse yourself. Go and reach out to the source. Go and reach out to your neighbors. Go and reach out to people who are suffering. Young people who are committing suicide every day. Reach them, speak to them, share with them. You never know through that God will open doors for you also. Don't fear. Don't excuse yourself. We need our own family, our own children, our own blood to be saved. You hold even the clothes of your child. Maybe he has gone away. The picture you hold in your hand and you say, God, my father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I represent my son, my daughter into your hand, God. I pray that God deliver this child from the world. I want this child to be delivered. Anything, any power that is holding my child, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. That's why you can pray, let them die. Let them be burned to ashes. Yeah, You pray so hard because the prayer of the parents is so powerful. 
If you can't pray, connect us. We can pray together as we've been praying so that this, this, the family can be saved. We pray for the city. We pray for the nation. We pray that God will deliver our nation. God will deliver our, our community. Then we, we just pray like that. Then God will connect you. You can ask God, give me a name. Give me somebody that you want me to pray so that the, the, the person can be saved. Then God will give you the name. You pray for that person. If it is fasting, you have to fast once in a week. You can, the, the day you fast, you bring that person. You pray that God, the, the person you have given me the name, I am bring this. You pray until this, this person will be saved. That's how you can rescue some people from the mouth of the grave. Some people, they will, one day they will thank you in heaven and say, thank you, Christian, for praying for me. Otherwise, I could have been hellfire, but because you prayed for me, I thank you. So that's why God himself, even the angels are very happy when one, when you, one, one soul win to, to the kingdom of God. Therefore, we pray that God would deliver our, our family, would deliver our community in Jesus' name. I pray that God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty, my Father, any power holding these people in captivity, let them die. Any power holding, holding, people, uh, holding, holding people that they cannot give their life to Jesus, let this power be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray for the community. I pray for the people, my, my own family, who have not received Jesus Christ as their personal self. Lord, I pray for them, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I give you the glory. You are wonderful. You are what God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I give you the glory, God. My Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring these people into you. I bring people who have not saved, the family who have not saved God, Children who have not saved God, my Father, I declare salvation to them, God, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I cut off, I destroy every powers of darkness, tying down these people, putting them in captivity, that they do not want to accept Jesus Christ as a, a person saved. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus, you have said you will be with us until the end. You have said you will be with us and guide us. As we have prayed that God, my Father, I pray that God Almighty, King of glory, Father God, touch the people, touch them, wherever they are, touch them, God. Touch them, my Father. I'm not hearing how you Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm going to log off and uh, try to go back in. Hallelujah. because I don't know what happened. Okay, okay. Okay, cut off. Okay, can you hear me now? Oh, she's there. Yeah, we're here. You, you can hear me? <laughs> I'm like, we thought we left here. Okay, no, 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 it's okay. Hallelujah. I pray that God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that God will touch your life, that, that, that the life of the people, in the name of Jesus. We need to pray that God will touch the life of the people, people who have not, who are, who are, who need Jesus. There's powers of darkness that is covering them that they don't want to get saved. We, it is our responsibility to pray for them to get out from captivity where the enemy has changed them, where the enemy has put them in prison. There are some people who are really in prison. They don't, they have eyes, but they don't see. They have eyes, they, they have ears, they don't want to hear. It is us to pray for them. We pray that God Almighty will destroy everything that is holding them. And we repent any sin that is holding them. Like if you have people in your family, you repent on your family. You say, God, my God, sins of my forefathers, sin of, sins of our ancestors. That is making my family, that is making this child cannot be saved. Let them be destroyed. Let them die. So you go with the deliverance prayer. This is deliverance prayer. You go with the deliverance prayer. You command them to die. You command them to be destroyed in Jesus' name. You know, uh, there was this, uh, the man, the man, the man of Gadara, who Jesus prayed and the man was, was, was healed. Then the, 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 the spirit, the demons in that man asked Jesus to go to the peak, to the peaks. And the peaks, and Jesus said, go. 
the pigs uh, become very violent and and run to the sea and they drown there they died there so now the pigs died there they 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 died with those demons there the pigs died there which means those spirit or the, the 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 demons which were in the pigs they they died there so that they don't come back and uh, torment people I don't know, but what I see and what I, I, I've, I've been searching and I've been praying that thing, that, that, that information to get it clear. What happened? Did the pigs and the demons die there? Or the demon, the, the pigs were the, the, the ones who died and then the demon did not die? Because people say the demon doesn't die. Now, when I look at that scripture, why did Jesus send the pigs to the sea and they die there? If they, die, they don't die, why did Jesus send them there? So I am not sure what is that, but the truth in me, I believe that they died there. The pigs died there with the demons. Now, therefore, that's when, when I use die, it is because if that demon, anything that is holding that person would die, it would not have life to hold the person not to get saved. For example, if you command cancer to die, cancer cannot come back and start attacking the person. So when I use such a words, don't 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 think that I, 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 this is witchcraft. It's not prayer. It is, it, it, this is witchcraft. Jesus himself, he said, I came to destroy the works of the devil. What does destroy mean? When you destroy something, what does that mean? It means you destroy completely, you kill it. It could not have life. It, it, it would not have life. In another way, if you look at the word destroy, what does that destroy mean? Anything destroyed, it doesn't, it cannot exist. It, is a, it has been destroyed completely. So we pray that all the powers, enemies, that is holding my child, that is holding my brother, that is holding my mother, that is holding my, my father, that is holding my husband, you name it. And then you say, you say, I break you, I destroy you, I completely disnounce you in Jesus' name. Then you come to the village, to the community. You say, every power, every strong man, strongest power holding this city, bringing poverty in this city, let them die, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Through you, you can save your whole city. God is looking intercessors. God is looking people that you can stand in the gap on behalf of the nation, on behalf of the others. God is looking, and God is very happy for such a person. And he will protect you according to his word. He said, I will go with you. I will guide you. I will be with you. That's what, 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 what makes me happy. When I go out, I know he is with me. He will guide me, and he will be with me. Yeah? I, that's what I, I am free to go that and do the gospel and do the gospel and, and preach out and reach people out. Sometimes I go by myself, nobody. I don't mind. You know, people sometimes they say you can be raped, you can be found some people there, they rape you. It cannot happen. God cannot allow that can happen. It cannot happen. God would, if, if God is not, is not with me, then that can be happen. But if I'm going and then it happen now, then God who said this is not God. And remember the Bible says God is not a liar to lie. You see, the Bible says that God, the scripture we read in the morning, it says God is not a liar to lie. So his words is very true. Now when you are coming, when you leave your house, you say I'm going to marketplace to reach any soul there. God, go with me and come with me, guide me. God for sure will do that. Angels of God will release you and you will go every you cannot get even accent. You can even the favor of God will be following you everywhere you go. And God will put someone there to go and minister to them, to the person. I thank God that God is able to re, to, to use you. God is going to use you. God is not going to come from heaven to come and do this work here. He will use you. And you and if you are ready, he will use you. Let's pray to our family. Let, let's, let's, let's pray for our loved one. God will help us and they will be saved. I am believing by tomorrow we must have testimony. Yes, I don't know if this morning or yesterday I was giving some prophecy about the people who are sick and, and one lady, I don't know if she's in the prayer or she, she's not, 
But she called me and told me that I was, she was the one that I said, the one who had a back, a back, a, a back problem, back problem. She called and said she was the one three months. She has been suffering. She has been having a very severe uh, backache. Her back has been traveling her, but immediately when I prayed, she got healed, and she was so much excited. I don't know if uh, my sister Claudette is, uh, is in the rain. If she's not there, then that's fine. She called me and gave her testimony. So I, I said, thank you. When, I, when God mentioned your case, he's one to help you. I go by the Spirit of God. Even now, I was trying to go to the message that I left. The message that I didn't complete our our mean our prayer meeting seven o'clock. But when I pulled it out, I wanted to continue. The Holy Spirit said, "No, you have to finish what you started about salvation, about the souls, winning souls. Complete tomorrow. I'm completing, and I'm going to continue that topic maybe on Sunday, because that topic I need to to finish it. It's very powerful, and I want to do it." By the grace of God. It depends on God. So every time I listen to the Holy Spirit, what God, Holy Spirit tells me, that's what we go. That's where the blessings is. I don't think two things by myself. Because the Holy Spirit is there to lead us, to guide us. Therefore, I want to thank the Holy Spirit and thank God that he has given us guidance. Uh, he has given us the Spirit that leads us and guide us. Guide us. I, I, I thank God so much. I pray that God will meet your needs according to your riches and glory. Some of you right now, you are facing some difficulty. You are facing so difficult, so hard, difficult. You don't know what to do. But God knows exactly. He has an answer for you. Just be patient. Don't think too much. You know the Bible says, don't worry. Why did the Bible say, don't worry? And why are you worrying? If the Bible says don't worry, or pay. Because when you start worrying so much, you get sick, you get depressed. When you get sick, then your, your, your head, your mind is tormented. It's been damaged. Then that is the, that, that's, that's what the devil is looking for. Resist the devil and he will run away. The person who has been worried so much, thinking so much, you are not helping yourself. Just get a solution. Get, let, how do I do when something has happened like this? How do I help myself? Don't, don't think I, and you, you regret, you think, you think that you have done a mistake, you feel so bad, you, you beat yourself. Just, just relax. Say, yes, something has happened this. Lord, I want to come out from this problem. You give God glory, not the devil. When you think so much, you worry so much, you give the glory to the devil. So give God the glory. That's why it takes a long time for, for God to come to help you. You immediately when something has happened. You know, Paul was saying, these things was telling me. I was telling myself, why is Paul saying, give thanks always? And I look at that word, thanks, and I see in the Bible everywhere, so many places, I give thanks. And I, I found out, even David, David could sing and compose songs and dance to God and praise him. And sometimes he goes and he, he, he understood how to, to talk to God. There's a time we can go to God only to glorify him, thank him in the midst of the problem. That's why he said that God will prepare a table on, in, the, in the front of your enemies. So when, we are, when you are facing such a problem in the midst of your enemies, that's when you say, God, thank you. Thank you what is facing me. I know that God will deliver me. Stop thinking so much. Stop worrying. God will deliver you. I am preaching to you this message. Please stop worrying. God will help you. Worry cannot help you. Worry is giving the devil the glory. So stop, stop thinking. Don't worry so much. God will help you. I want to stop here. Thank you very much for those who have come. God bless you. See you tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Tomorrow we have 8 o'clock. We don't have midnight. We will not be having midnight. We have Sunday, Sunday, 8 o'clock. We won't have midnight prayer. Uh, I'm going to stop midnight until Tuesday. Tuesday is when we start again midnight. So for now, today is, is the last midnight. Saturday we don't have midnight. Sunday we don't have midnight. 
Monday we don't have midnight. We we'll said midnight on Tuesday. So don't call, don't come, don't, don't call the prayer line. Or don't wait, don't think that something is happening. Something is not wrong. Something is wrong with me. I am okay. I want to have my break of night. It is very difficult to have this prayer midnight throughout the week. It's hard. So we have to give four nights and three days. That's what I've decided and it is working very well. I think that would be good for everyone. And also weekend you can you can have fun with with that, with, 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 with your sleep. <laughs> so I thank God for everything. Uh, thank you so much. God bless you. See you tomorrow, eight o'clock. Have a wonderful time. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine is saying bye bye. Bye bye to you. Remember to go to our website www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. There you can get all our information, it is there. Also, we have a new video that is coming up, very powerful. Go to, to our videos and help yourself. It is helping many people, they tell me, like the lady who called me, she called me and said, these videos has helped her so much. She doesn't dream those bad dreams anymore. So they, they, it has, there's a lot of teaching you can listen. Even me, I just put them and I listen. Sometimes I said, is that me? I listen, I listen. I said, God, thank you. I also run from me, from myself. <laughs> so go and help them. It is new every day. The way you, 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 watch, you listen to them, the way you get new ideas and the revelation. God bless you. Those videos, they are, they are so anointed. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye.